Well, that's an agreeable story. What am I doing here? I don't know. Why are you here? Well, I suppose there's a couple of things I'd like to know. Like what? Like, how about everything? Everything? Yeah, like who my parents are, maybe where I'm from. And if I told you these things? What would you do with that information? What would I do with it? I wouldn't do anything with it. I, I'm just taking a wild guess and figuring that maybe a person has a right to know these things, right? Well, firstly, I'm going to tell you flat out that we've decided that to inundate you with such an avalanche of information could have ill effects on your psychological health at this stage at least until we know more about what happened to you. You say you can recall nothing, nothing whatsoever, before two days ago. You didn't know where you were, even who you were. Yes, that's right. Do you know who you are now? Well, I know my name, but that's only because I saw it on this card that I found in my pocket. Well, how do you explain it? I can't, that's the thing. I can't explain it. And I don't understand why you people won't let me leave this place. You make it sound like you're a prisoner. Okay, well, it, it really feels like it. Honestly, it's really starting to feel like it. Nate, you have to understand, this kind of amnesia outside of the movies is as rare as it is extraordinary. We can't just let you go out and roam free until we have some idea of what's happened to you. Otherwise, whatever it was could happen again. Until we can figure out how to treat you, we're going to do everything we can to give you a modicum of normalcy as long as you're still experiencing... Wait, wait what did you say? I said... A mode of fun? What, what, is, what is that? Well, I think that's enough for today. That's it? We'll meet again tomorrow. My secretary will show you to your room so you can get some rest. She's right outside. Be seeing you. Oh. oh, oh, who did, who did this? What? The stereo is broken. Did, did he? 
This ruins my entire day. Okay, um, I got- I got you that- I got you that bottle of Barton's. It's- it's under the- it's under the bed. I- I'm- I mean, I spent- I spent the rest of the change on a- on a special edition pack of cigarettes. Um, alright, I'm- I'm just gonna get going back. This is a terrible day now. Um, I- I gotta- I gotta go do that gala for the cancer. You seem to have an innate distrust of authority figures. You have a singular wit and intelligence, a, um, a worldliness. Okay. What I'm saying is, your personality is intact. That suggests that your memories are intact, even if you can't access them consciously. So, what does that mean? Well... That would also suggest that my original diagnosis was correct. The root of your condition seems to be psychological and not physical. I know you may have a hard time accepting that your condition is a creation of your own mind, but that also means that the key to recovering your memories is in your hands as well. Okay, but how? How is that possible? The mind is a fragile thing. It can do extraordinary things in response to extreme psychological trauma. Okay, but I'm telling you that something did this to me. How do you know that? <laughs> I just know. Nate, believe me, selective memory erasure is impossible. If it were possible, there wouldn't be much use for my profession. Okay, so you're saying that this is all up to me. Uh, the, I hold the key to her whatever. I think the answer we're looking for is the simplest one. Now, you tell me which is more likely. That someone, for reasons unknown, selectively erased portions of your memory, or that your own mind is suppressing them to cope with some kind of psychological trauma. Tell me, are you now, or would you like to drink some gin with this person? Wait, what? I said, are you now, or have you ever been in contact with this person? That's not with you. No. A am I supposed to know that guy? It's a cognitive therapy technique. Face recognition, memory retention, that sort of thing. Oh. Are we done here? Do you have somewhere to go? The bathroom? But you gave me my car keys the other- No, this is not- No, this is not happening. But you, you do not remember talking to me in the undergrounds about my problem. Underground? No. What is your problem? I remember? You, you- I have fucking amnesia? You said it yourself. You have fucking amnesia? So how are you going to tell me what you do and don't remember? Bro, I'm sorry, you do I remember me. you. You don't remember me. No, that, that- this is not happening. This is- you can't be serious. No, it's, it's not happening. Not, not anymore. What is going on? 
What, like, it, explain to me what the hell is going on, because this All is right. not... here's what's going on. You're following me. You, you obviously know. I know jack shit about this uh, fucking amnesia and they and all this other bullshit. All I know is that I'm leaving and you're staying right here. Leave me the fuck alone, man. Creep me out. Dude, you can't be fucking serious. Looks like you had some excitement. Yeah, a ton. Can I smoke in here? Actually, you can't. Everyone understands that you're going through a trying time right now. But this self-destructive behavior isn't going to get you anywhere. You know all this is starting to sound pretty ridiculous to me right now? Smoking. Yeah, well, drinking gin is uh, my mode of fun. Nate, why don't you give me the bottle? Certainly is a kick in the pants, isn't it?
Who the hell are you supposed to be? I'm Nate. Nate Kemper.